Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mukami, the environmentalist. And today I want us to talk about lead experts. Who are lead experts? What do they do? And how do you become one? Or what qualifications do you need to become a lead expert? So before we get there, if you've not subscribed to my channel, that's the first thing we do here. Subscribe to my channel. There's a subscription button down there. Click on that button, then you'll be subscribed, and then we can continue into the main topic. So then, who is a lead expert? A lead expert is an environmental expert who have gained some amount of experience and have been certified by the National Environment Management Authority, that is NEMA, to practice as a lead expert. These are the guys who are going to assist us, associate experts, in understanding and learning how to write these reports, how to do environmental assessments and environmental audits. So these are the people who are going to train us. As an associate expert, you work under an, a lead expert. So these are the guys who are certified and who are allowed to go out into the field do an assessment and sign the assessment. It does not mean that associate experts don't, but you do it under the supervision of a lead expert. So once a report is being submitted at the NEMA office, it must have been signed by a lead expert. So then, what do you need to become a lead expert? Or after how long do you become a lead expert? There are different qualifications for 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 being, there are different qualifications for being registered or qualifying as a lead expert. Of course, once you have qualified, you are certified by NEMA, so you are given a certificate of registration by NEMA, and of course you apply to the, to the Environmental Institute of Kenya as a member, and also you apply for a practicing license. We have been talking about this in the previous video, it's the same procedure only that this time round, you're applying it as a lead expert and not an associate expert. So which are these qualifications or how do you turn from being an associate expert to being a lead expert? One qualification is that you must have done your bachelor's degree in environmental science or the equivalent courses. Then you must have trained in environmental impact assessment and environmental audits and then you must have practiced as an associate expert for eight years guys get me eight years you have your degree you have trained for environmental impact assessment and environmental audits and then you have practiced for eight years as an associate expert the second way you can be a lead expert is if you have done your master's degree in the relevant fields and then you have trained for EIA and environmental audit and then you have practiced for five years as an associate expert. Finally, you have your doctorate degree in environmental science or an equivalent field and then you have your training, you've been trained in environmental impact assessment, you've been trained in environmental audit, or you have been trained in, in strategic environmental assessments. Strategic environmental assessments. Then you have your three year experience, and this experience includes being in, uh, could it be in work experience, is in research, it could be in consultancy or even in teaching. At least you have published journals or your research papers and such, such things. But of course the main qualifications are the two that I started with, whereby you have your degree, you have your training and you have practiced for eight years. Or you have your master's degree, you have your training and you have practiced for five years. Those are the main ones that most people I am speaking to today will have or aspiring to get there will use. As an associate expert, the moment you're doing your, your once you're practicing, you need to find a lead expert whom you're going to work with and who is going to assist you in your assessments. 
there is very important to look for an, a lead expert who fits your characters and whom you feel like you can work with. Look for somebody who is going to educate you and somebody who is going to guide you out in this field of environment. So guys, that is it. Those are the lead experts. Those are their qualifications. Now you know if you are an associate expert, now you know what you need to do to become a lead expert. And the application process, of course, like I said, is free. It's done on the NEMA website, the licensing portal. You apply there, you are everything. You apply your registrations, you apply your practicing license there. The best thing about being a lead expert is that you're in full control of your reports. You find your jobs, you find your clients, you do the jobs and you sign them for yourself and submit them to NEMA. You are answerable for your projects. You are answerable for your assessments. If you make mistakes during your assessments, then you are answerable. I think every associate should aspire and make sure you keep renewing your license. Make sure you keep practicing so that at least after a few years, you become a lead expert where you will have full, full control of your environmental assessments or your environmental jobs. So till then guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope now you understand who is a lead expert. So let me know down in the comment section below if you are aspiring to be a lead expert. If you think practicing for eight years or for five years is too much time or is too short to become a lead expert, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And let's connect after this video in our so in my social media platforms i have them linked down in the description box so check me out and let's talk here and there and then um, till next time